Okay, to report a failed debited withdrawal with your NANAP US is very, very simple. Yes, it's very, very simple. Very, very simple. So, um, I'll be telling you the few routes that you can follow that will be very, very fast for you to resolve the issue. Okay, so um, let's start from the place that you can press that will probably help you um, generate the history transaction of um, your transactions. Okay, so it is from this end. I hope you're seeing where I'm circling. This is where your history transactions are lined up. So let's press it now. Okay, this these are where your all transaction boots failed successful. Okay, this is where all of them will be will be placed. Okay, so we'll press the successful side, we'll press the failed, we'll press the pending. Now um if you want to you want to um get um a, a statement a statement of statement of accounts of your transactions this is the place you press okay this particular icon this particular icon this is the place you press you just tap on it then um, it will it will bring you to this interface where you um, either click on the month or the duration then you customize this is where for this customization you press the day you want to start seeing okay the day you want to start seeing yes the place you press okay is from this side that's the day you want to start seeing but um okay then okay you put the day you want to assume you want to see from february we we'll click february then uh, click on okay okay then we'll click on the date we want to end please make sure that while you're clicking you're clicking within that time within within a month you don't click february um, starting from february to 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 end on um f f end of march no, no no you don't do that it must be within almost so the next thing you do is to confirm okay and it will be downloaded if you press this to be downloaded to a pdf file format let's click on it so that we'll see everything okay We'll press on it. Every all the transaction that was run within this system will appear here. Yes, it is very very simple. So this is the statement of account. Everything will be simplified for you. Okay, it's very very simplified for you. So that is that for generating um statement of accounts. Okay, but if you want to just print a particular one, you click on it. Assuming yes, okay. Let's go back. We we'll click on this this particular cash deposit. Okay, we we'll click on it. Okay, so this is it. Now the next place we we'll press is here. This same icon. Okay, because you can see you had just finished download. This is from your from your phone. Okay, from your app. But if somehow it is um from your POS, your following um. That means um you need to connect your email. Yes, that means you need to connect your email. But for now, let's understand how to use it through the phone. Okay, so uh, this is for all the transactions. Okay, now we'll click the arrow to come back. Now, the place you report this issue is by clicking this side, these three horizontal lines. Okay. When you click on it, you check for where you see help. Okay, see, so this is where your this is where help is, right? This is help, right? So we'll click on help. Okay, so um um as I said earlier, this is the fastest route for you to resolve your issues. Fastest route, fastest route for you to you can either follow through Gmail, okay, or you follow through phone call, okay. Or you follow um live chat okay when you click on um live chats this is the next thing you will see you will get a message that will pop up they just write um hello team hello team a message will pop up immediately okay a message will pop up immediately 
okay let's try this okay okay so message is literally not coming up because i had earlier today type this message this evening okay so this is what will come up when you first type this okay this message will pop up we are out of the office at the moment our working hours are between 9 a.m to 5 p.m on mondays to friday then 10 a.m to 4 p.m on saturday and this is the message from our tech department from headquarters okay so that is that for um live chat then for phone call phone call is different when you click on it it takes you directly to your call pad okay that is it that is that for for phone call okay so let's check on um let's check on let's check on gmail if you click on gmail it takes you direct to your gmail account okay takes you to your gmail account let's press the gmail okay so the next place you to okay so here it is you write your subject the reason if it's a failed debited withdrawal you write you write the subject failed debited withdrawal now compose the mail that you want to write but um i will encourage you to use more of um, the phone call okay use more of the phone call than use more of the phone call the phone call and live chat than the email okay so that is how to report an issue that is how to report a failed debited withdrawal if it ever occurs and uh, there are some procedures you can follow to avoid this unnecessary failed debited withdrawal yes yeah, this can occur when there is traffic okay when there is congestion from different um, agents because of um transaction within particular time okay yes this happens in every payment platform yes it happens everywhere so but there are some simple procedures you can follow to avoid this yes i know normally you may want to be using the sim card that comes with now now pos yes the sim card that is always subscribed that comes with it but i will advise you to have an alternative okay yes this um an advice that will really help you to succeed in your business okay have an alternative because um during these hours 10 to 4 or probably during the hours of 9 to 5 p.m yes there used to be network issues yes yeah, because of the congestion yes but having an alternative um source of data either through wi-fi or through sim card yes the normal one um yes this is the reason is this the sim card that comes with um your pos is light and you know how light version of normal version is yes so um getting a normal um sim card yes will be a good option okay then um also using a wi-fi Yes, if you use any of these two during this time, you will not be having these um, failed debited withdrawals. Yes, so that is how you can do and you can do to resolve a failed debited withdrawals. Either you call, either you call, either you call, either you call, or you follow live chat. Okay, or you follow live chat. Or use email or you can also drop message in the whatsapp group yes if you're my agent you drop your message in our whatsapp group i will also help you to treat it yes what literally i'll be doing is to forward it to the tech department through our staff dashboard yes yes but if you also follow through this route it will also get to the same table just from different channels okay yes and all will be attended to yes so this is how to generate your account statement as i stated yes and uh, also then while sending that message to our tech department if you will be following through 
the chart there are some informations you need to have in mind if it is a successful transfer then the recipient is here to receive it um okay you'll be sending this message to the recipient you'll be giving the recipient this session id okay session id bear this in mind if it is successful transfer and the recipient is here to receive it but if it is a failed debited withdrawal okay you need to have in mind your transaction id okay the transaction id your account number okay yes and um your transaction id the amount involved and the day of the transaction then your wallet id you know your wallet id your wallet id is your phone number that you use in opening the pos okay so those are the three major things your wallet id um the transaction id and the amounts probably and the day of the transport if you have the first three you're good to go these messages will be the things you will drop either in the whatsapp group or in the live chat yes or even the time you're calling the customer care representative to help you resolve the issues have a nice day